won nine times in his career with Ferrari and McLaren. Last year, he left the Ferrari team and went to Benetton, with whom he is now. And this is a lovely overhead shot from the roll bar. He's driven in no less than 196 Grand Prix, the most experienced of them all. Now, let's go round with Gerhard Berger as he goes into a flying lap. OK, he's coming down past the start-finishing line now. You can just see the lights crossing above him. Into a very hard braking area, into a right-hander, keeping it in nice and tight as he comes through this part because he's no sooner through there than he's a left-hander, going up through the gearbox, letting it drift out nice and wide. Up through the gearbox, down towards Martin Brundle's uh, corner. Well, they call it Brundle straightaway now. Into this right-hander, he has to keep it over to the right because he's no sooner out of here that he's into a left-hander. Here he goes, feeding on the throttle, back over to the left, getting it ready for a very fast right-hander now. Now, the next section he's coming into has a little left kink before he has to go right, so he has to straight line break it, cuts it in nice and tight. Now, the exit of this is very important because we're leading onto a very pa fast part of the circuit. Flat out through a sweeper, which I believe will be a real challenge in the wet. Down to the first chicane, second gear, keep it in nice, and now flat on it again, up through the gearbox. You can hear that. The fingers do the walking. Now, up to a fairly quick left-hander, Keeping right over near the wall, down through the box. Little left-hander, flicks it into the right-hander. Now up through the box again. Another long sweeping corner. I think these corners are really going to be a challenge in the wet if it does rain. Back down through the gearbox, into second, perhaps third. Let's it drift nice and wide. Up one gear, through another right-hander, letting it drift over to the left again and getting it back over to the right very quick, smart. This is probably one of the slowest corners now, and it's also a very important one because he has to get back over the left quick smart and have a very clean exit through this right-hander because how you come out of here dictates your speed down the start-finish line again. Gerhard Berger, the only man to have driven in all 13 Australian Grand Prix, is very quick indeed. Indeed, he is second fastest 